Hey everyone, it's Denise Brown from CaringOurWay.com. Welcome to the six stages of a caregiving Thanksgiving. We're going to do some movement based on the six stages of caregiving, which is a concept I developed in 1997 and have revised and tweaked over the years. And just recently, I was challenged to think about what does the six caregiving stages look like in movements. And so I'm going to show you what it looks like just as a general concept. I'm going to show you what it could look like as we act out what Thanksgiving looks like for us. And then I'm going to invite you to do your own. Okay, so here we go. So the six stages of caregiving includes a keyword for each stage. So I'm gonna demonstrate what the six stages could look like based on the name of the stage and the keyword that goes with it. Okay, so the first stage is the expectant caregiver and the keyword is to ask. So this is what it could look like and sound like. Ooh, huh, yeah. Oh, mm, not sure about that. How do you guys feel about where you are living right now? What do you guys need me to know about what you like, what you value, what you prioritize? Who is important in your life that I could meet? And then we move into the second stage, which is the freshman caregiver. And the key word in this stage is to find. Ooh, huh. 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 I think I'll keep that too. What the heck? I think I'll try it and see what happens. Huh. Huh. Might as well keep that too. Oh, wow. Look at this. You know what? I'm going to try this one too. What the heck? And then we move into the third stage which is the entrenched caregiver. And the key word in this stage is to receive. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. 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 And then we move into the fourth stage, which is the pragmatic caregiver. And the key word in this stage is to welcome. Okay, well, I've seen that one before, so I'll just put my umbrella up. Okay, well, I've jumped over a larger puddle than that, and I've got my boots on, so I can just jump over that. I'll be okay. You know what? The hail has been bigger in the past, so I'll just make sure I have my hood up and my umbrella up. And then we move into the fifth stage, which is the transitioning caregiver. And in this stage, our keyword is to allow. This served me well.
This kept us so comfortable. And then we move into the sixth stage, and that's the Godspeed caregiver. And the key word in this stage is to treasure. Okay, so that's the general concept of the six caregiving stages. So let's apply it to Thanksgiving. This one I'm going to do without prompts, props, because I don't want you to feel like, oh, I don't have any props. I can't do this. So I'm just going to do it without props. So for the expectant caregiving stage, we know the key word is to ask. So this is what it could look like and sound like. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh. Mm. okay. What can I bring? What time are we going to eat? What do you guys need to know about helping mom this year? What would you like me to tell you so that you could help me this year? And then we move into the second stage, which is the freshman Thanksgiving caregiver. And the key word again in, in this stage is to find. Ding dong. Okay, everybody, we're here. All right, I'd love to find a good spot for mom to sit so she's comfortable and can hear everybody. Where's a good spot? I'd love to find a good spot so I can take a little bit of a break while you catch up with mom and find out how her last few weeks have been. Thanks everybody for your help. And then we can move into the entrenched Thanksgiving caregiver stage. And the key word in this stage is to receive. Oh, they keep bombarding me with questions. Like uh, today of all days, they're going to ask me all this stuff about how mom is doing and what, what am I doing to do this? And why haven't I looked at that? Blah, 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 blah. Ooh. Oh, that was so delicious. I think I'm going to take a few moments and run to the restroom. I'll be right back. Thank goodness for the bathroom. I'm just gonna breathe. I'm okay. We're okay. And then we move into the fourth stage. And again, in this stage, our key word is to welcome. Oh, I love a piece of pie. Thank you. Yes, please help mom. She'd love your help. Yes, please ask mom some good stories about what it was like when she was a kid. Yes, please. She'd love to tell you about those. I know that tears are a part of my holiday and it's okay. I've got tissue. I can do it. And then we can move into the transitioning stage. And this stage is called, is the keyword in this stage is to allow. Oh, it was wonderful to be with you for just a couple hours this holiday season. I know we usually stay longer, but this is the best for us. Thanks for helping mom in her coat. I'll get my own. I'll follow up with you guys next week. And then we move into the sixth stage. And again, in this stage, the key word is to treasure. Oh, we did it. We did it. Thank you, mom. You were such a trooper about all this. Oh, can't wait to get home. We'll get into our PJs. We made it through the holidays. Okay, so now it's your turn and you're welcome to stay on camera. If you'd like to try some movements and you think I'd like to try these with my camera off, you are welcome to do that. You could turn your camera, your video, your audio on if you want, not necessary. If you wanna test some sounds 
and see what it sounds like, you could stay muted. It's up to you. So this is all about just moving it out of our body. All right. So here we go. And then I just want to let you know, I'm going to ask someone to be a volunteer after we practice this out, if anybody wants to show us what they create. Okay, so the first stage is the expectant caregiver. And this is the stage where you're, you know what's coming and it's the holiday. So what does it look like when you're expecting a holiday? What does it feel like? when you're expecting a holiday. When you think about what does it look like, think about your movements. So for me, it was dread. Oh, so I was pushing it back. Yeah, don't want that. Don't want that. And I know that the key word in this stage is to ask. So I started thinking about, well, what are some questions I could ask about the holiday? So I feel better informed about what's gonna happen. So think about your movements and you might be over the moon excited about this holiday and that's awesome. So you'd wanna use a movement that's over the moon excited. I am dreading it a little bit. So that's why I use dread. Okay, so go ahead, make your movement, make your sound. What is it like to expect Thanksgiving this year? Use your body in any way you want, use your voice go for it. And if for whatever reason you have a prop that's like right there, grab it, use it. Okay. And then the second stage is the freshman Thanksgiving caregiver. And this is when I think you've arrived. You've walked through the door. You're there. There's no turning back. Yeah, you're there. You've arrived. And the key word in this stage is to find. So as you think about arriving into your Thanksgiving holiday, what can you find that could be helpful? So for instance, I was thinking about my mom. I would always immediately find a good spot with her for her where it was easy for her to engage in a conversation. And then when she was engaged in a conversation, I looked at that as my chance to find myself a spot where I could take a little bit of a break. So thinking about what can you find when you arrive into your Thanksgiving holiday? <sighs> so go ahead, use movements, use your voice, let it out, let your movement out as well. Okay, and then we move into the third stage. And this is when you feel like, okay, I am in the middle of it and it's not necessarily all good. I'm entrenched. And I think about sometimes what happens is people see our carry and then start to ask questions. Mom could do this a couple of weeks ago. Why can't she do it now? Mom looks worse. I thought you were getting more help. Why aren't you getting more help? Mom looks like she needs more help. And you think I am bombarded by these people not getting it right in the middle of my holiday. When you feel in the middle of it, use the keyword receive. And that's what I did. So I received a moment in the bathroom just to breathe. So go ahead and think about a movement that demonstrates what does it feel like to be in the middle of it? In the middle of it. And then what is it that you can receive when you're in the middle of it. And again, scream, shout. I could have, for instance, gone into the bathroom and shout it, like let it out. I instead just breathed it in, but you might want to pick a spot where you can go and shout. You might say, oh, I left a dessert in the car. I have to go get it. And you go out to the car, you get the dessert, and you shout. The fourth stage, which is the pragmatic caregiver, is about settling in. 
And when you settle in, you welcome. And that's the key word. And I think it's important for us to welcome whatever emotions happen for us. I can welcome into a nice conversation with someone in the family. And I can welcome some tears because so much has changed. And if I'm welcoming sad or angry or discouragement, I don't apologize for it. I don't fight it. I just welcome. So when I did it, I had a good emotion over here. And then I had another emotion over here that was about tears. I didn't apologize for it. I just said, I'm okay. I have my Kleenex. I'm okay. So a movement, an action, a word, an expression that reflects what it's like when you're settling in, when you're settling in. And then we move to the fifth stage, which is the transitioning Thanksgiving caregiver. And that's all about the holidays ending. So you can express a gratitude. You can ask someone to help get your Carrie's coat on. You can get your own coat on. You can ask someone to help you out to the car. I always made sure someone helped me out to the car with my parents, even when they didn't want to. You have to help me. Keith, you have to help me. Patrick, you have to help me. You have to help me get them in the car. <laughs> so the transitioning caregiver is about closing out the experience. And in this stage, the key word is to allow. So we allow it to end. And it could be that you allow it to end with gratitude, with a few insights that will help you for the next holiday. So what are the movements, the words, the expressions that reflect what it's like when the holiday is ending? Keeping in mind that the key word for this stage is to allow. And then we move into the sixth stage, and this is when we are settled back into our routine at home and we're going to treasure. So I treasured myself. I treasured my carry. And it could be that we treasure our leftovers. We treasure an easier day tomorrow. We treasure our PJs. I talked about getting into the PJs. We're going to have an easier evening now. So what does this sixth stage look like? The holiday is behind us. We're going to treasure what are the movements, the actions, the expressions, the words that really demonstrate what it's like for you in the Godspeed caregiver stage for this Thanksgiving? If helpful, you could also think about this sixth stage as your future you want to go to as you think about what the holiday is like. Meaning in that entrenched stage when you're like, oh, if you've already thought about what the Godspeed caregiver stage of this Thanksgiving looks like, you could also have that in your head, that vision, a vision of being comfortable in your pajamas at home, listening to calm music, lighting a few candles. So in this, our, our Godspeed caregiver stage is almost like what keeps us moving forward because we have a vision of where we're going to. It's a vision that we want. Those are the six caregiving stages generally and then the six caregiving stages as it relates to Thanksgiving, and you've created your own version of that. And if you'd like, I'd love to see what you created. You could show us one stage or two stages, 
or if you feel like I figured it out, you could quickly do all six. This is not mandatory. I am not going to pick a volunteer. So it's okay if you feel like it was good to do this behind the camera when I was also muted. I'm not sure if I'm ready to do this on camera and unmuted. It's okay. I wanted to offer this opportunity for anyone who wanted to take advantage of it. If you'd like to, just go ahead and unmute and say, okay, I'm ready, I can do it. Okay, so I'm going to take your silence as I am not ready to put this out in public, and that's okay. I'd love to hear, though, what was the exercise like for you when you were putting together almost like your act, your play of your Thanksgiving based on the stages and the keywords? Hey, Denise. That's yeah, funny. go for it, Tony. Yeah, hi, Tony. Well, it, I'm not caring for my mom anymore, but it it took me through the holidays with her visiting family, and I just I had to laugh when you said find a place for mom to sit and talk to other people, and then find your own seat, take a break. Um, that was always true, you know. My my family did not ask me questions about mom's health, and that did not happen. It was peaceful, but they never really got involved with me in her care. And, and you know, what came up was resentment. Yes. Right. Yeah. So the feeling there. Uh, yes, absolutely. They, what I'm they just did all, go ahead. Yeah. I, what, what stay on a, that one. Yeah. What does a facial expression of resentment look like? Oh, well, it's probably anger. It's probably like, <laughs> like I want to kill you. <laughs> yes, that's perfect. Yes, that's perfect. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's like, why aren't you asking me anything? Why aren't you talking to mom? Go talk yeah. to mom. Do something. <laughs> yes. Now, they yes. were helpful. They would get her food. They would help me out of the car with her. They would, you know, help me re regroup when we left. Um, carry packages, whatever, carry food, give us food. So, you know, that that all happened. Um, and number five, we did stay a shortened period. And I said almost those same wor words, you know, we're going to go now. It's best for mom. Um, and, you know, they were accepting of that. So it was a pretty calm experience going out with her for the holidays. Um, and yeah, when when we got home, it was like a little dread as, okay, tomorrow starts all over again. Yeah, right. It's like, no, uh, uh, I hope I can rest tonight because tomorrow it starts all over again. Right. How perfect is that to include that both in the Godspeed? Like the first is, okay, I'm in my pajamas. I'm okay. Yeah. Sitting down. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. I see what's coming the next day. Yeah. 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 Thanks, Tony. Yeah, yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. And one of our attendees is sharing that she actually just stayed centered and calm throughout the stages. I think that's really interesting. So as she was experiencing the stages, she allowed herself to stay like a rooted tree that can easily move with the winds, but stay calm and rooted. Wow. Sounds like a nice holiday. <laughs> I think I'm going to remember that for my visualization of where I want to be maybe during and after the holiday. Okay. Yes. And another attendee is sharing that breathing was the way to stay in the flow. Yeah, I love that. I'm curious if anybody was surprised by anything that showed up for them. Mm. 
not so surprised. The one thing that um, you didn't mention is in the early stages um, in preparing to go, that time getting dressed, what are we going to wear, that the morning, just getting ready for the day is almost a big, as big an ordeal <laughs> as the holiday yeah. itself. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's that would be awesome to demonstrate that, right? And demonstrate how heavy that can feel, the pressure. And I think sometimes we want our carries to look their best to help yeah. everybody else feel okay. It always took longer to get ready than we expected. There was a drive, 40 minute drive. Were we gonna get there on time? Who was gonna be there? Are they gonna be upset if we're late? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah. That. Oh, and then and it was a little calmer once we got there yeah that would be awesome to actually demonstrate that through movement right I mean wow Cami, I wondered if you wanted to add anything and it's okay if you don't can you hear me yes okay our Thanksgiving looks completely different this year as our PBS family, we're doing a mini documentary series on adult caregivers taking care of their adult loved ones living at home independently. And my partner has early onset Alzheimer's. And so our PBS family has invited Bob and I to go to a beautiful resort on Lake Superior and join their family for Thanksgiving and spend the night at the resort. And I'm so as I'm writing down all of the points, it's like, my hands are in the air because I have, I'm so excited and I have no idea what to expect, but I'm very comfortable on the same hand because that's what this whole series is about caregiving. So these people all already kind of know, you know, we're coming and what to expect. Yeah. I love it. I love it. How fabulous would it be to you to then act it out for us afterward? Yes. Oh my gosh, that would be awesome. That would be. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, Cammie, you'll have to keep us posted. I will. That sounds fabulous. That sounds wonderful. That sounds wonderful. Okay. Just want to offer who else would like to share anything about what the experience was like before we close for today. Okay, we're gonna close. If you've joined me live, just stay for one second afterward. Thanks you guys so much. I really appreciate it. You helped me work out a lot of my angst around my own Thanksgiving, so I appreciate it. Okay, thanks everyone.